Oh. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Dr. Watts, I don't think you have did a good job of evading. I think that's dead. You ran it over anyways. Oh. What angle did he hit this tree at? Because here's the road, right? He swerved in here and was able to straighten the car out just in time to hit the tree. He's a drift king. <laughs> He's just that good. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. <laughs> Shut up, Dr. Watts. Act one. Never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I am just his caretaker. These are my children, Sarah and Tommy. Not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Is there anything else I can interact with? For River by Johnny H. Wiles. What kind of a song is this? It's just two notes repeating over and over. Uh, I don't think I can go anywhere else in the house just yet. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Oh, no fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the bore in two notes anyway. Kids love their piano. Cut that racket out, you brats, I'm trying to sleep. Painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Painting of an animal of some sort. A casual painting of three people. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. These just keep on getting crazier, huh? <laughs> Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Who gets to search the house? Uh, Dr. Watts, yeah, you just stay put on the machine. Dr. Rosalind's gonna explore. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. <laughs> Receive remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just gonna ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Click this. Oh god. Okay, so we can keep an eye on him at any time. Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. What would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, one trillion it is. <laughs> Cut the crap and help. Alright, okay. I, I just can't get it right now. Oh, I can grab this. There we go. Receive candy cane. Got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. You come and give me a tour of this at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Dr. Rosalind, you can't do that. We live in a COVID society now. You can't just talk that. I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. You need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Get the Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1, The Keys to Avoiding Paper Cuts. Uh, read passage. Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted the great Wikipedia Origami as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding. For though it has many omissions, it contains much that is apocryphal or at least wildly inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from the reading of this book. <laughs> Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies and showered with gentle sunlight. Is it this book? Maybe another year. 
Oh no, there's the key. Chose his hiding spot well. But no one wants to pick up that book. Open the door with the room key. It's like a cave in here. Oh! This seems healthy. A broken music box. A stuffed toy platypus. Looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Take the toy platypus. A rabbit folded out of paper. I can't advance into the room. Don't like the vibe that room gives me. <laughs> what do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so he never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? These damn hooligans. Oh, I gotta check out the light. I, I can't just stay and wait. We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. <laughs> of all days, Tommy. Pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it away. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. Do you roleplay too? I, uh, no. He's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. I could get my D&D &D campaign back together. I could play a nice cleric. Can we touch the squirrel? Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gone. Wait, what? Don't worry, children, I'll protect you. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, attack. Volcanic jump kick. Yell in volume, just louder. Your time is at an end, squirrel gone. Yeah. Stop it or we'll tell Ma you animal abuse. Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. Didn't you say you like role playing? Well, there goes the squirrel. It's gonna be like, th 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 I thought it was just gonna be, it's like, am I fighting like the wildlife now? I was very confused there in terms of mechanics. In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles. Was she John's wife? That was the same for River for the music. Okay. And that was composed by Johnny. God. This is it. I imagine this lighthouse is no longer in operation if I had to guess. If it is, I'd be very concerned. Because you just see like rabbit silhouettes on the coastline. <laughs> A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. This is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd hobby, though. Okay, we got the platypus and the rabbit. Animal collection gang. Why don't you be late by another half an hour? Not like we got a dying client or anything. I caught up in something. I got caught up in something, too. It's called our job. <laughs> Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. Please tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop, chop. Oh, we going inside his head? This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done, let's get him. Anytime you can view your position in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. So we're looking at Johnny's life. Uh, okay, what else have we got? We gotta like, investigate each room, I imagine. And look at the clock. Received no clock. Is that a note about the clock? The clocks in Johnny's house never tick. I still get all these items too. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosalind, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. <laughs> Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? How convenient, I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful, Dave. If you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Niels. Show some respect. Just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. 
Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? I don't like Neil. <laughs> so, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why did you- why do you want to go there? I don't know. I just do. I can already tell this is gonna be a pain in the ass. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. You have a memento of some sort to get us started. Like, here is this bunny I made. Oh, there it is! That'll do. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Oh! Complete the memento, click the orbs to flip pieces? There we go. The memento can now be activated for traversal. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. They are going inside his head at the mo. It's gonna be hard to kind of stop what we don't see. There we go, we've jumped. There's the platypus. It, that's a lot of origami. It's creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psychopathy first. Oh? What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. Probably just a part of his, this memory. Interact with objects to establish five memory links. Hadouken? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What? That's it, I'm doing the break-in from now on. Oh, that's the next memento to travel back in time. Okay. Reminder, the corner orb can flip the entire diagonal. Okay. I think I understand what I'm- uh, No, I really don't. Okay, I got it. I'm still curious as to what this is. We're trying to- we're, like, we're helping this guy who's dying. Get, fulfill his dream. We have to keep jumping back and back as much as we can. It's finished, River. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stay true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. When I'm gone, who is going to watch over us? Oh, Rosalind just revealed herself. My name is Eva. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes, her name was River. That's a special name. She she didn't need to do it. But she you wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. Oh boy! <coughs> the growly at the start, too. It's gotta be a journey, this one. Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. The platypus is the next jumping point. Ideal shows the minimum number of moves the memento can be completed in. Three, okay. I mean, I can see a way to do it in four. I'll still take that. Oh, he's younger now. We're gradually traveling back. After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it, so don't you worry. White lie. That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we can just... Stop it. When the papers for my treatments get here, I will not sign them. Well, you do what our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her, visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. I'll be happy. I made this. Tell me what it is. It's a rabbit like all the others you made. What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look. River. 
I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. It's called For River. Why so cliche? It's just a placeholder. <laughs> Anya they were talking about. She's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in his late memories? Guess he didn't keep that promise after all. No, oh, I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride or look around yourself? Uh, stay and explore. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? <laughs> I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. You just like download music from memories. <laughs> Piano movers. I'm telling you there's just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. Can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. So Nicholas. Okay. Pair the memento. Jump back further. Yeah, look what we have here. This is the house under construction. Is it just himself working on it? Oh no, there's someone else. Isabel. Nick called and said I should come. I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills. I can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. I can barely afford to pay for a treatment. I'm gonna tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. I shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. She found out I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. It's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It'll at least give her some comfort. Doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. That it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. Oh god! It's so fucking harrowing because like we're going back. Gradually true it all. Everything he wants now, we've already seen how this plays out. Oh god. Is that a music box? Is that the broken one? The music did change. Yes, it is. Okay. Open up the pickled olives. Pickled olives are the key to everything. <laughs> Activate the olives. How wonderful. Having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that's special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Be right back, I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Oh, hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. But how'd you take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits. Yes, lots of them. Ah, I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. The house is literally filled with them now. <laughs> Didn't Isabel say something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel quite right this time. When I asked her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if, she, as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits. Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there, there are just no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one from out from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Oh, yeah, so this is a very real thing then. So they can just get stuck in the memory if there's nothing to associate it with other points in time. That's interesting. 
that I actually have to kind of improvise here to get back further. Heyo, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit? Check. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting reset. <laughs> Hey there, could I get you anything? <laughs> Hello, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit? Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olives. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. <laughs> Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Do people just eat, like, straight up pickled olives straight from the jar? Most people- some people are screaming in horror. No, they drink it. Ugh. Eva, disable taste simulation now. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time. We've got two bottles left. <laughs> More pickled olives. And you know what else is wrong with society today? <laughs> yeah, I actually have it right here. Why may I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How are the olives, Neil? <laughs> oh, shut your mouth. Wait, don't you there. Don't worry, sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. Hulk smash. Trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. Okay, memento. Pear. We're going further back. Oh, he's no longer gray! <laughs> Crikey, nutcrackers! I don't think anyone has ever said that. <laughs> you aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be heard here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. Can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear if this pl He's gone. Eva, <laughs> what the fuck? Neil is dead. <laughs> Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed. If we save well in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure we'd be able to see her from the window. In the morning at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. We'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. You remember what happens, don't you? Like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they're happy. They were referring to the lighthouses on you, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that river. She declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse. Isn't that a bit too extreme? Seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but uh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. So Anya is the lighthouse? But what happened at the lighthouse? They had their wedding here as well. It's hugely significant to them. Okay, wish me luck on this one, lads. I actually got it. <laughs> Activate memento. Okay, where are we now? So the house doesn't even exist. On this plot of land now, I imagine. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really, you can't even get it, it through its door. Hmm, <laughs> true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. Probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. <laughs> Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. Next time on Doctor Who. Like, Jesus, the new series has really gone downhill. What is Chibnall doing these days? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. 
Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And, well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. It's a lot of paper rabbits. <laughs> this is the day she started it, huh? Wait, so this this was the first day with the rabbits? I mean, there's something going on. I don't know what. New boxes of plain paper. Oh, I think I know where this is going. Well, this well, she started ordering supply for the rabbits. She loves the platypus too, because th th this memento seems to have been like following throughout. Like John brought this to her grave, so this has to be important. Do a diagonal. Oh, and that pretty much solves it. Okay, click the wrong one. <laughs> Got the idea. <laughs> What's so significant here? What happened with the lighthouse? Why is it called Anya? There's the platypus. They left it in the car. This is where the future house would be. Oh, hey, another crashed car. <laughs> they also have to dodge a squirrel at the last minute. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Oh, what is that? A hacky sack. Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know, you want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! It's the next memento here. The hacky sack I imagine is going to be a memento at some point. That had some significance. Gotta keep going. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I shared the syndrome, doesn't mean we share the same head. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? Born, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage. And at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. The only way for me to be normal. But River, you never did that. You made an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. Oh, I've never met a woman with it before. They're, they're referring to being on the spectrum, I imagine. Is that it? Just from the way it's being described here and, you know, how it's different in a case by case. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. I know, your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. Eh, uh, yeah, that was one odd wedding present. Guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? Come for them. I suppose so. Tobias Hawk. Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gorilla, David Cobra, Cassie Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. Could have just Googled it. Oh, are those the Animorphs, are they? <laughs> I don't remember these otters. I thought they were books or something for a moment. <laughs> yeah, Rachel Grizzly, you know? What about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um, what was David again? Like, he literally just said it. Cobra, was it Cobra? An olive? <laughs> oh yeah, a cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those are cool. Something we could investigate there. There it is. Emperor's new clothes. Ideal is five. Uh, oh man, these are getting hard. <laughs> Don't know how I got that. I'd not see what I was doing. An aged Animorphs book. Glass of pickled olives. Seal of fromage, but where's the mouse? It's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean... 
cheesiest remark. Yeah, you've earned that one back a lot. <laughs> the, the cough at the end has never felt more appropriate. <laughs> Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Hey, come with me. They gave the lighthouse a name. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. <laughs> Don't worry, just follow my steps. Ah, oh, they're dancing. Oh! Ow, my ass! <laughs> I think you stepped on my toes! Sorry. Her dress was the same color as that, that the rabbit that you made for Johnny, wasn't it? It was blue and yellow. There's some association there. You promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? You promise to love and, com and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. Yes. <laughs> By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I pre present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Act the wedding. Uh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Lewis tend to escape from my eyes. Didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I mean both fluids and solids. <laughs> That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Oh, I better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. So proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because the rat of you call me John. Ah, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those, anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Steve Note Joey. Johnny's nickname, named after his grandfather. Okay, so we might need that if we improv at some point. It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Why would you obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You, you are the woman here. Don't. Know what you're implying, Dr. Watts? The rabbit itself, dead rabbit. So was this the incident when the rabbit got hit? And she started kind of making the paper rabbits after that. We're jumping back with the rabbit. This is linking to another point with a rabbit. Poor thing, what's with all the road kills today? There's a horse. Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what? Do don't not ride this horse? Blue and yellow again. What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Yeah! Bit wasted time, Neil. Uh, do something! <laughs> oh, rip Neil. Received note, Dr. Neil Watts. In memoriam. <laughs> Village idiot. She has never done it by herself before. I'll be fine, I'm not a child. Ah! River! Oh, look at her go! What's the matter? Let's go! Hey, wait up! Oh, I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. <laughs> I don't think he has. Better go save his bum. Old space to gallop! Oh shit, I can go fast now. Wait, where's Neil? I'm coming, Neil! <laughs> I'm coming! I... I think I killed him. It's the hacky sack? Memento. Here, this memento will do. You have to line it up carefully with that horse, though. Oh, look at me, I'm not getting on that beast again. It's a bag, I don't think it's the hacky sack. The ideal is four. <laughs> Actually... Amazed I've been able to figure out some of these. Is the diagnosis certain? 
Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation? Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. You're ending unsettling in the relationship. No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'll help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine therapy that might help her. The ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. I don't know why it's saying, like, like condition and, like, dancing around, like, I guess being on the spectrum. I, I, I don't quite understand that. It was 2011. Yeah, like, do you think it's just because it's 2011 it would just be a little less talked about? Because even back then, surely, it's highly stigmatized still in 2011. Okay. It's only 10 years ago, my god. Yeah, and you couldn't even mention it by name. Like, I find that astounding. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. Not that severe, I'll be okay. No problem, it's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. That's why all the clocks were quiet in the house. A stuffed toy platypus. Can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Leave the platypus alone. Looks like someone took good care of it. Still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Shut up, Neil. Leave her alone. A lot of people who don't know what autism is are scared of it and cannot understand us. In more recent years, people have become more accepting. I'm glad that, like, you know, that, like, that's at least a something. Cause I find it, I find it, I can't believe that, like, again, this is only, like, ten years ago. And you can't even fucking name it. You know, because it would have been so stigmatized. Like, that That just doesn't sound right, you know? Psst, look. I know, I, I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in theater. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. We leaped through the clock. Oh god, we went really far back. Holy overcooked macaroni, the kid's in the theater all by himself. What a loser. Neil, it's perfectly acceptable. You go to the theater by yourself all the time? <laughs> That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. Getting stood up. Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. I want to construct him a lady friend. Can we construct a lady friend for him, Eva? No. Oh, but he got stood up, did he? I hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there's no olives this time. <laughs> oh. This is when they met. River? Oh. You were in there this whole time. Oh no, they already- they already had met. I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Oh, I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. You weren't watching it together. I didn't even know where you were. You saw me in there. Why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? You were watching the same movie in the same room. Oh, he's laughing it off. What's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in before it ends. That, that is actually very sweet. The platypus is here. Are we jumping through the platypus again? Yes, we are. The platypus comes everywhere. Okay, uh, ideal is five. Uh, we've now got access to everything. Wait. Okay, this is a roundabout way of doing it because I've just deleted the platypus, but I can get him back. <laughs> Solved it incorrectly. <laughs> Heard her back. I think we're in school now. Come on, dude, grow some balls. Um. Oh, Nicholas knew Johnny back then. It's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, yeesh, what's the, what could possibly happen? Let's think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You straw on like nothing happened, no one will know, and everyone will still think you're cool. What if she tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss. <laughs> That's Dr. Watts. 
It wasn't even Nicholas. I was like the doctor. Like, have some balls, kid. <laughs> what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet. Dear Lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> Ahem. Hello. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes. And why didn't you? Never mind. Oh, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book. About platypus? No. Oh, I, uh, I think that's great. <laughs> the face palm from Dr. Watts. <laughs> Lighthouses. There are exactly 16 second order Fresnel lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified from a star kerosene lamp lighthouse. Um, say, you wanna go catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. That's okay, I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, um, how about this Saturday at 8? Eva, I think the system froze. Yes. Oh, great! Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later. Johnny, how'd you get on? <laughs> what the heck were you doing in there, dude? <laughs> what, I asked her out? No, oh, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would've just barged in there and be all like... Oh, it's been cropped a little. Hey, you! Go out, me, you, now. That's just terrible. I know. And it would have still been better than what you just did. Skating critique. We yeah, are the Vinci trained by drawing eggs. Barrels are like very big <laughs> eggs. Therefore, you will all be very big Da Vinci's. I can't fault that logic. If you want to be the best artist in the world, train from the biggest egg you can find. River, why don't you answer it? You know, you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine, I guess we'll, we'll have to. We made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322, and granted to Alvar Perez de Guzman, who was at the mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. Oh god, lover, she must have had a hard time in school. Alt-tab, alt-tab! Receive note. Alt-tab. Life save? <laughs> okay, I don't know if that helps us with the current... Mission. Johnny's doing okay, too. Heart rate monitor's still there. Alt F4, Alt F4! I learned that advice from my good friend Twitch chat. They've always got my back. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. Not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? Like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Oh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang with the emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. <laughs> the fact we got a name for them says a lot, too. I just, I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. How the heck would Beam with her change her own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. He's not just shy, Nick. Something strange about her. Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. She's the one who has it. Do you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. Just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. Right. So this guy's some kind of human hogging hipster. That's sort of disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff. I was just thinking that, yeah. This is how things started with them. Then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. She's pretty good at holding a grudge. Okay, so they got- they got together for what is the wrong reasons. Very, very kind of cruel reason. But I imagine somewhere there he came to genuinely love her for who she is. 
Because Johnny does apologize for this. You know, they do spend their lives together. I mean, I would hope to God that's, you know, that's what comes of it. Enough toy platypus. Just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. Must have left as big of a scar in his mind as it did on mine. I think a scar is the wrong word. He, he associates it with her. You know, she took it with her everywhere. Kami! Oh, for walnut's sake. Ah! <laughs> hey! Not cool, Eva. You never! Goodness me, what could the censored word be? <laughs> going further and further back. I'm going to school now, ma. Have a nice day, Joey. There's the pickles. The pickled olives. Oh no! Cucumbers! Holy crap! My mind's totally blown! <laughs> Pretty easily impressed. Not quite olives. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Absolutely none. Solved it. Don't know how. I don't know how. Where are we? Eva? What the hell is that? What? Okay, so something's going on with his memory here. Has he repressed this? That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going the put on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. Oh, this is bad. But don't worry, we've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation. Ladies first. We have to hop back out. We got very close to his earliest memories there. We went all the way through his life. Act two. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. And that's all this old fool knows. Eh, sorry I can't be of more help. I'll have to be enough. All right, that's all, that's all that's left to do is link in your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. And we'll pull the switch and voila. You'll be on the moon in no time. If you can make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy. A canvas for us to work with, if you will. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then when we transfer your right to desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be revision to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Don't be so sensitive, he's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Oh. oh, this has done some. All our night's work. This is the connections and chains. What the? Please give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. Ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as is. All we need to do is pass the desire from his latest memory to, to the earliest. Line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desire. Eva, check this out. Om um, nom 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 nom. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, the book is the link. The book. Oh, once it's unlocked, you, you, they don't have to stay connected, do they not? Okay. There we go. So we've associated them. Doesn't have to be one chain. Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time, on. Wait, we not going in there? Too bad we got a straggler here. No loss, we can do this without him. I know, but it feels incomplete. You get too attached. It's going to impede your abilities to do your job. It's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. Neil needs to shut up. Yes, he does. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. Impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Okay, what's happened? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Really? 
Freeze him too. Oh, something's gone wrong. Who could this be? Even as if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps, perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories, Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. Oh, we're changing it. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where is Neil? Where is Neil? Ah uh, yes, my favorite film, Moon. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? It's starting, let's go get a good spot. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Now, something is different. This isn't a real change, this is... May I have your attention, please? <laughs> As you know, I'm a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Oh no, Neil. Hit it to me! <laughs> wow, that was terrible. <laughs> what chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventure in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn, or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you, or you, or perhaps you. Well, I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no. <laughs> This kid will be terrified. You're going to the moon, Sonny! <laughs> well, as an official NASA recruiter, I should go over some facts about the moon. Did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. On your lap. Neil rolling a one on his persuasion roll. <laughs> Jesus, he did not spec charisma. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> Neil, no. NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Mm, I do try pretty hard. You're gonna go see if that worked. Of course, be right back. Utter failure. <laughs> Deuce. I hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. What do we got next? What's our next idea? Can't afford to finish filming this house, Isabel. Can barely afford to pay for a treat. But can you? <laughs> Neil, no! <laughs> can you afford the lunar trip lottery? Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we rarely have anyone. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? <laughs> It's true! For both you and your spouse! <laughs> Free pony rides in space! Oh look, a wedding! Good for you! But here's a riddle. Guess what you should go for the honeymoon? <laughs> Imagine just your entire life, you're being terrorized by people just saying, You wanna go to the moon? Hey Johnny! Johnny, you come with me to the moon! The moon! <laughs> anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. We're contacting you about your space shuttle's extended warranty. <laughs> you need to make sure the warranty's in check if you want to go to the moon, Johnny. Everyone's going to the moon. Including you! Doesn't make sense. Why the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet... There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then, would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time? We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Pictures all kind of make a bit more sense now. Painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Painting of an animal of some sort, that's the platypus. Casual painting of three people. That's the old gang from school. I imagine River made the paintings? 
Seems like a little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect in the curious thing called memories. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads to one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. In such a large amount, its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. I think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories. Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. It was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. Trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridge in inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for, for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. Even if you find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. The road, Kaliva, it smells. I know, it's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. The olfactory receptors are directly linked into the brain's limbic system, Lily. Can you see what this means? Um, what? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for a memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still susceptible. I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. You just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran it over. Exactly. I've already done my part. <laughs> How noble, Neil. The squirrel was the plot device all along. <laughs> Not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. It'll at least make its odor controllable. The thing is, why does this childhood smell like that? Where are you going? I... You gotta go take a leak. Ah, here it is. Received valved container. What's that thing there? I gotta get some of that dirty roadkill. This painkillers is Neil okay? Oh hey, did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great, go get it set up. I'll be right back. Neil, these painkillers. I think they are yours. Hey, may I ask why you are on them? Wasn't going to tell you, but oh, this is embarrassing. A few days ago, I walked into a concrete wall. You just walked into a wall like that. What can I say? I was in deep thought. These are some rather strong pills, Neil. And it was a rather strong concrete wall. <laughs> Twas a match made in heaven, I say. Let's hurry. John's dying back there. Neil. You aren't addicted, are you? You kidding me? I'd overdose before I'd sink to that level of contrived mess. What's wrong with Neil? So when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you're doing there, good luck. Look, the last thing we need. Oh, God. Act three. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. I imagine this is the final act. I already have all the memories gathered. The ball was the key. There wasn't much association with the ball, but there is a bunk bed here, which seems a little suspect. Neil's childhood smells of death. What's going on? Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over from me, Lily. Condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this state, all of our work will be reset. 
There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny. Oh, you freaking... Don't pull that contrived crap on me. It ain't a movie and you know here or you're just being a moron. And why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. You know how badly he smells. Worse than the roadkill. He stabilized. We're back online. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Neil, you can't just say that. Wait a minute. My carrot cake doesn't suck. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? These guys are made for each other. We actually made it. And now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? The bunk bed. I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. I think it's the bunk bed. Isha's time overlap's getting out of hand. Look at how many of them there are. It's like a zoo. He has a brother. Better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Marta. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see, see you around. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit, duh. We need to go back now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. Oh god. <laughs> I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how would we be seeing this here when he, he when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey. Joey. Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey. Wake up. Lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had the beta blockers erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took- I don't think she took the beta blockers. Seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here, let's move on. They were twins. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. Animorphs was his favorite series. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through tree books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. Uh, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, raw, raw. <laughs> just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm gonna be a famous writer. I write the coolest novel on the block and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? <laughs> free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. What, you're still mad about the other day? Oh, come on. I called first dibs in the train fair and square. What happened to your prize, anyway? I gave it away. Well, hobo. Look, it's not just about that day. You know, Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter and the time we went fishing and... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reason, she'll just get me another one, right? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Even earlier. Fruits, fresh fruit, apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We got it all. Wait a minute, tomatoes aren't fruits! Uh, yeah they are. They are the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. Come on, tomatoes? We never ever refer to them as fruits. We who? Happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. <laughs> now, strictly speaking, tomato is not a vegetable. It's actually a type of dolphin. I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. The only train left. You want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. But I won too, he just went first. E, it's okay, I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny. 
okay, you dumplings don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. Hey, is that whack-a-mole? whack a what? Whack-a-mole. You take, you take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. No people blew off steam before FPS were invented. <laughs> How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. <laughs> Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, yes, yes! Uh, sure. Well, this is an actual game. Hang on. Johnny could be in his final hours. Let's get sidetracked to the carnival real quick. You remember that part in Inception where, like, Leonardo DiCaprio just stops to play mini golf while the dream is collapsing? Out of 46 total target appearances, you struck 46 times and made 44 successful hits. That's a 95% hit rate. It's your new record. I'll take 95%. Whack-a-mole, Eddie percent. We can't just stop all day to play whack-a-mole. Johnny's life is like in its final hours. I'll hail the mole king. They used to call me the whack-a-mole king back in college. They didn't, that's not true. They called me the drift king back in college, so that is true. Don't you ever forget. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. No, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah. This is when he tried pickled olives. I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground, not an inch too far. Just leave that bag, I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine, I won it. Yeah, so like, how Johnny seems to have processed the loss of Joey is... Their identities kind of merged. Wow. We saw birds like that in the walkway up to his house. Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. Let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at, the same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. Thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping, and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. In conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> oh shit, I told you packs of tigers dwell here. Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny, what's your name? You're at my spot. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Uh, you wanna join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Oh, we get a completely different angle. <laughs> Look at him. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. Not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay, then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. <laughs> We do have a lot of Johns in the society at large. <laughs> What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. If everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. Look at those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad says the giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. 
Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos. <laughs> it's true. Kangaroos aren't real. <laughs> Australia's not real. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, uh, of other things. Never tried a rabbit, though. You want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out first. Three, two, one, and... I see it. Uh, where? In the sky. Oh, but where in the sky? Think big. Uh, bigger than all the others. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! I see it! Tell me what you see. There, right? There's two ears and a head. What else? And there, there's its two feet. Yes, what else? And the moon. The moon is its big round belly. Of course, because River, River would have known about Joey and that the fact that Johnny has forgotten this throughout his life. So when she's interrogating about the rabbit, she's trying to bring back these, this, these memories because Johnny would have forgot. That's what she was trying to do with all the rabbits. And the blue and yellow one, of course, it's the moon in the sky. What do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Oh, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they want to talk to them. But they can't because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from Whack-A-Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a thing. I don't really know what it is. It's a platypus! It's some kind of a weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? He gave it to River and he doesn't even remember. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! That's my Colin. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget or get lost? And we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbits, tell me. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. Treasured them all that time. He never even knew. Here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. Should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. Fuck you, Neil! <laughs> I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. But we are contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, wait. Oh, we're going forward. I know you were in here. Even though moon. So we always had like a connection to River, even if he wasn't aware of it. Objective where Johnny and River are to regroup if they get lost from each other. Neil. I know what you were planning to do. I know that you know. Yeah, well I know that you know that I know. Look, I contract is to send him to the moon. And the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means removing River, then what's the point? The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died. I know, but we are legally bound by the contract specifically. Fuck the contract. Didn't take this job to make him miserable, Eva. I don't know about you, but I signed up to help the freaking geezers die happy. Me too, and I like this job. 
But if we directly go against our legal obligations, we'll be in for court hearings. With appeal, we know that Johnny'd be happier to not go to the moon. Johnny would be happy with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We're not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he signed for. We happen to know what he wants better than he does. Look, I'm only risk risking losing River because I believe in her and... What do you mean, risk? You're removing her. And besides, I will make up for it. Make up for it how? We're running out of time. Booby traps, really, Eva? Just trying to buy some time. Gee, thanks for telling me. Oh, I gotta go. There's some expensive pieces of equipment you're tossing. Seriously, just stay put and wait till I'm done. I'll piss off. Come on, Neil, you got it. I know I just told you to fuck off, but you gotta save this. Oh, you've gotta be freaking kidding me. Is this a game to you, Eva? Dear Lord, they aren't just zombie Evas. The zombie Evas. Don't come any closer, I got plans. Oh shit! We gotta go! Wait, we're shooting with plants. It is plants versus zombies. <laughs> We've come full circle. Oh. What did you do to her? Relax, she's merely going elsewhere. At this point, this is the only way. I'm asking you to trust me. Please, just calm down and wait here. Just pull the trigger already. Where are you going? Just one last thing I need to do. Ozer, there's no need to visualize the door. What's with all this melodrama, Neil? Why, why are you fighting so hard for this? Forget it, there's no time. Come on, they're gonna hog all the good tables. They're all the same, sheesh. Nah, Joey's right. The ones by the kitchen smell better. Totally, and olive refills are just steps away. Joey's here now? Saving him doesn't justify it. You can always find another river, Neil. But he'll only have one brother. Come on, we're in the way. Joey's back, but River is gone.
He actually made it, huh? You sound surprised. Whatever happened to we always succeed because we are awesome? This isn't a success. We'll lighten up, we're in NASA. To the moon. The story about a lame duck's attempt to become an astronaut. A novel by Joey Wiles. Can't believe this crap actually sold. This isn't the real world, Neil. Satirical comedy, I imagine, about his brother. What do you think last century's moon landing was? Let's not, Neil. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the best part of it? What? The very top and bottom of the shot shuttle. Oh, how I pity anyone who can't see those particular parts. Indeed. Especially his nose at the top. <laughs> Maintenance finishes, it probably won't look the same. Yeah, now's the only time. <laughs> Fuck you, devs. <laughs> devs think they're real fucking clever, don't they? <laughs> they're just laughing it up right now. <laughs> At least he got into NASA, I guess. I think he made it to the end. Even if he did, it'd take more than just a few years to become an astronaut. Let's hurry and find the last link, then. Hate to miss the finale. What's going on? Are we out of time? I don't know. <gasps> ah, and here's our other new recruit. River, right? Good to have you on board. Hello, I'm John. I almost thought she wasn't. What the fuck, Eva? <laughs> you deleted her. No, I told you, I just moved her. She does what her life here is still up to her. This new world is based on public data and Johnny's own beliefs. Since River's data as an individual is not recorded in the public domain, it all comes from Johnny. Would have gone very badly, you know. I never want to take risks, Neil. Just say I won this round. Still made the song. He wrote it himself, apparently. Had a repetitive, if you ask me, though. What's it called? To the Moon. I like that name. Wait, we're all going in. Lily and the Doctor, too. Thank you for letting us in here. Yeah, yeah, Eve was the one who requested it. You find out why you wanted to go to the moon. Sure. And? What all happened here? Let's just say it was a bunch of sappy cheese that sorted itself out. Come up here. Oh, uh, why? Why not? You're just gonna push me off the ledge again, aren't you? Probably. But the view's worth the odds. Neil just plummets into the river below. Oh! <laughs> Johnny's going to the moon, and I'll see you in hell, Neil. <laughs> Oh. Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. There's still time to kill Neil. Gotta go real quick, Eva. Just knock him off the bridge. No one's looking. All attention's on the rocket right now. They'll never know. Well. <laughs> you tried, Neil. You had your chance. <laughs> Shut down. The, the memories still work out. But Joey's about for it all now, too. River lived as well because they had money. 